Good afternoon. This is Tina. How is your weekend? Uh, okay, anyway, let's start. Uh, this exercise is about uh, to tell you, okay, or teach you how to delete a single product, which is uh, pretty easy, okay. So let's go to our source code. <clears throat> Here and uh, we are gonna we we are on uh, how about on the home page here I add another button called the delete okay so here go to our index which is the products page um <clears throat> for the delete we need to using a post request like for view detail and for the edit, we all using get request. But for a delete, we need to using sorry post the delete because we are modifying our server side. Okay. So here we need to have a form and the action we were using the follow the pattern as we delete action here we were using slash admin slash delete product okay and inside the form we will have a hidden fields like we did in the, in the edit type is a hidden and uh, uh, name is ID which will refer to the student uh, sorry no student <laughs> refer to the product ID the value gonna be this value right And we put a button. Uh, let me see. Put a strap button. Okay. Final one. Either our style won't be good. Okay. Let's 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 find one. Okay. This one. Let's use in this primary. This one too. So we have the same uh, like a style to be consistent. Okay. This one will become called uh, what's the thing? Delete. And we make the type to be submit. Okay, because button cannot submit as a form itself. You have to using a submit button in order to submit a form. And we forgot the method here is a post. Okay, so now we have the form. We have the button ready, and we just need to add this. Uh, Request the handling method first go to our router. Okay, not in the shop. We should go to the admin routes, right? Here, oh, already have this one here slash delete product and this part we are go to our uh, What's the admin controller? So we go to our admin controller delete product Okay, because this part right and what I'm gonna do with this part first we already get we already get our uh, from this one we can get our product ID right so what we can do is we just in the product we have a delete by ID then here I pass body.id so it will direct uh, delete successfully then what we can do is redirect back to our home page which show if the product is deleted successfully so now uh, we go to the product here since we call this method using the class okay so we just using we just use the static method okay and here we'll get the product ID right and how to delete we can using one method from uh, <coughs> from the array okay JavaScript array which is the first we have to find the index okay this P represent each product okay equals equals this product okay and uh, uh, 
and the splice what that is where you want to delete okay and how many elements you want delete with the only delete one element so that's it for the delete okay and uh, let's go back to our controller everything done after delete we redirect now go back to our routes make sure we're using this one okay delete product okay so we are done let's create uh, let's go to the browser to test okay our home page here should say nothing and we add uh, one called the prior knowledge yes image you are using same okay good and add another two like uh, react js price 12 okay image you are i'm gonna use in the same one and uh, this one is good and uh, submit and we add another one home oh sorry add product called uh, angular okay price uh 15 okay image url good okay submit so now let's delete okay click the delete button delete successfully click uh, this one delete successfully click this one delete successfully okay so that's it for the delete okay which is uh, pretty simple okay so thank you for watching this video the source code is in the description you can download from git GitHub repository and uh, see you. Bye bye.